we are in Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, where design plays an increasingly more important role. Design from Croatia became recognized internationally, and one of those people we're going to meet is Hrvoje Živčić, graphic and type designer. Since studying in Zagreb, in uh, Croatia, at the School of Design, uh, I had a teacher, Nikola Jurek, who went to Type and Media in, I think, 2004 or 5. So this was basically my introduction to type design. And after finishing that school in 2010, I just kind of realized that this is maybe something that I want to get better at and um, it made sense to go at the same school that my teacher went to because I liked his approach. So that was the way that I started with it. And after finishing Type and Media, I worked, let's say, half and half as a graphic designer in editorial and print and half I was trying to do some lettering, custom type and similar stuff. It seems like with your last time you almost don't have a choice. You have so much time critics in your last time. I counted, like if you counted dots as an accent, I think you get five accents in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh, each, uh, kind of each nation that has a language and a uh, uh, written language uh, that includes their critics has sort of a keen uh, sensibility for yeah, the details, at least first for their own diacritical marks and then actually if you take care of the Karens and the Qt, then you really need to pay attention also to everything else. So maybe this helped that a lot of um, designers also that use uh, languages with diacritics are now getting educated and uh, yeah, I think it's maybe pushing the diacritic design further. And uh, Mode was your first type that you published, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so it was, uh, it started uh, Type and Media as my diploma work. The main audience, I think, still is in Croatia. And I wouldn't say that it's uh, because that it's designed specially for Croatian language, but it's more of the context and the uh, fact that I know people in here and they are favoring to use um, typefaces by local designers. So. Several designers use it really just like a bold sans typeface and I think like the subtle details and curves of it really come out in big sizes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm happy to see it used in both contexts. And now we have this which is, uh, just was published, which is the opposite, like it's really hyper-local uh, themes. Tell, tell me like how it started, how this started. I realized that um, the bus stops in uh, Zagreb have a peculiar style of lettering for their signs and the signs are cast in metal and I think they were made in the 70s. Uh, so at first I was drawn to it because it's actually something that should be very, very functional, it's signage. And my first attempt um, to do something with it was basically just to redraw it as it is and add some more weights to see how it would work in graphic design context. But after that I realized that I want to kind of expand the possible use of it. So one thing was just to manage that the shapes really work better in wider range of context. I'm not sure if it tells something exactly about Croatia, but it does tell something about uh, how neutral things can be or need to be. I wanted to um, try and make something that's uh, a bit more uh, determined or has a specific, uh, more specific uh, look than moat. Uh, I think it's really interesting that uh, the designers of the original typeface were bold enough to do something a bit unexpected for this kind of project. So this is maybe something that I like and am interested in 
uh, where you can maybe push further uh, the aesthetics of something like this. I quite like uh, the typefaces that are maybe uh, graphic in their appearance, so that um, look maybe even a bit strange, but even the signs by themselves are quite uh, distinctive. Um, maybe that's one thing that I'm interested in, and the other one is how can this kind of uh, aesthetic and approach be applied to something that will not be screaming for attention all the time. So I think I'm always in between those, like uh, not making something quirky or funny just because of because being quirky or funny, uh, and uh, and doing something that may be a bit more bold in a graphic sense.